Hey, this is Peter from PeachTravel.com and AllInclusiveCaribbeanCruises.net. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Pete's Cruises and Travel. Hey guys, if you have not yet connected with me on YouTube, you know what to do. Now let's get to it. Hello, this is Peter from PetesTravel.com and AllInclusiveCaribbeanCruises.net. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Pete's Cruises and Travel. First time cruisers, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the cost of a cruise. Now, uh, your cruise will, will cost you, th th sorry, there are several different things that will impact the cost of your cruise. Um, so it, it depends on which cruise line you're, you're sailing with. It will depend on the size of the ship that you choose to sail on. It, it will depend on when you sail. It, it, it's always cheaper if you sail, say, September or October um, versus June, July, right? It, it will cost you, if uh, depending on what discounts you get, because um, there are some discounts that are given. Uh, from time to time, you will find um, different kinds of discounts, um, whether you are in the military or whether you are uh, a senior citizen, uh, and, and there, there, there will be other promotions from time to time. So there are different things that impact your cruise cost. Um, what I want to talk to you about specifically today is um, since I always I, I recommend that first-time cruisers take either a four or five night cruise um, we're going to look at the cost of a five night cruise um, let's say June right um, because summer is when so many people choose to cruise and we're going to talk about a five night cruise to the Caribbean and uh, for the just to keep it simple we're going to look at one of the the, the best rates out there or, or the, the best offers um, in terms of cruise prices and that will be Carnival Cruise Line. Um, Carnival MSC Cruises, Carnival Cruise Line and MSC Cruises will generally give you the best cruise rates. Okay, so you can make a note of that. If you are getting ready, you're, you're getting ready to be a first time cruiser, you want to experience a cruise, you don't want to spend it too much, then your best bet will be Carnival or MSC, right? Now, after you've taken a cruise with those two, um, or with one of those two, then you can decide to try something else, uh, a little more upscale, a little bit more costly, um, and even longer. But of course, a longer cruise will cost you more than a shorter cruise. But if you enjoy it so much, I'm sure you will, you will want to go for a longer cruise. So I'm going to take you to my website, PetesTravel.com. So I'm, I have my, my iPad here, and I'm just going to go to Chrome on my iPad, Google Chrome, and um, visit PetesTravel.com. Okay? You can either find you can find it by typing in peachtravel.com or peachtravelcenter.com, but it's easier to remember peachtravel.com. Uh, so I entered peachtravel.com and it brings me to my my page. This is my home page, and uh, at the top right you will see a uh, book travel now link. So I'm going to press on that, and then I get this page here where I can enter different aspects of the cruise to just to bring up what I'm looking for. So 
it's a, there's a box, the first box is for destination. I'm gonna do a Caribbean cruise. So I'm gonna scroll, and I hope you can see that. It seems like it's not very clear uh, because of the lighting. Um, but anyway, I hate on destination, and there's a drop down. So each of, each of the boxes actually um, has a drop down menu. So I'm gonna scroll to Caribbean cruise I'm going to select my date over there. So I'm going to click on that. I get the drop down again. I'm going to select June 2024. Um, the length of my cruise, I'm going to do a four. I'm going to do four to six nights. Then I'm going to select the cruise line. In this case, like I said, I'm going to go with Carnival and um, I'm gonna select a departure port. So I'm just gonna do Miami uh, just for the purpose of this demonstration. Okay, so, you know, you... I select Miami and it tells me that there are nine itineraries for Carnival for June, 2024, sailing out of Miami. So I'm gonna go click on search cruises. That's right there, search cruises. Okay, and I've looked at this before, so I kind of know what's there. There's a Carnival Sunrise Cruise, and actually I was on that cruise in um, hmm, 2020. That was our last cruise before COVID. Uh, we've saved um, a few times since COVID, but um, that was February 2020. We were on the Carnival Sunrise to Jamaica. That was for our mission cruise. Okay, and I see where they have a sailing on June 1st. Um, so kids in the Northeast are not out of school yet, uh, June 1st. But June 15th, I think a lot of people in the, the South are definitely out of school, um, June 15th. So I'm gonna click on the cruise for June 15th. So it's a five night sailing out of Miami and the Carnival Sunrise for June 15th. And I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click book. So it's, it brings up this page. Shows you like a map of where the cruise will sail to. It gives you your itinerary. Um, and then it brings up pricing. Now I'm thinking, I'm guessing this is a family getaway. So I'm gonna put him here, it says number of guests. I'm gonna put, uh, let's put mommy, daddy, and the child. So we're gonna do three guests, okay? Three guests, mommy, daddy, so the, it's asking for the ages, uh, 45, 44 from mommy, and the child is say 16, okay? And uh, I gotta, I hope you can see this, the lighting seems to be uh, kind of messing with this. Okay, and then we're gonna select a state. I'm just gonna put Arizona, so one of the first ones to pop up there. And then I'm gonna hit continue. Now, when I do that, so this is a five night cruise for June, 2024. Now this is August, 2023, right? So this is a good way, a good, a good, um, good time uh, to book way in advance of the, the, the sailing, um, which is also a good time to do this, to book your cruise, because um, you tend to find the better rates then, or you tend to find better rates. Um, there was a time when you could like play around a bit and wait um, for last minute cruises. And uh, sometimes, depending on what time of year it is, you may still find some good prices on last minute cruises. But honestly, uh, since COVID, so many people have been wanting to go that um, the demand is so high that cruises are selling out faster than they used to. So anyway, I, I did um, three people, mommy, daddy, and a child, and uh, it brings up some pricing here. So it says, see the pricing? The inside cabin, the ocean view, the balcony, and you see the starting rate. So those rates that you see there are just to start, I'm talking about right, this line right here. Those are just the starting rate rates. So the inside cabin, it says starts at 522.33 per person. Hmm, that's a good rate for a five night cruise, right? Um, but 
Something to remember when you're booking or looking at the cost of a cruise is that when you, if you're searching online, uh, I do recommend you use a travel agent, uh, but if you're searching online and, and you go to the, the, the cruise line's website, normally the first price you see is the, the lead-in rate, and in most cases it's a non-refundable rate or it's a, not a highly desirable cabin. Um, well, this rate, the 532, this is for an interior cabin, and the, the interior cabin is the one without the windows, so it's dark all day unless you turn on the lights. <laughs> it's, always, it's always dark, so you have to keep the lights on if you're in the cabin during, during the day. Um, the, the leading cabin, the leading price for the interior is 522.33. The, the ocean view cabin, or the outside cabin, is 582.33. Balcony, um, 721 and a suite starts at um, 10 6 to 9 per person so these are just the start the, the leading rates um, uh, 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 for each category okay so the first price for the interior cabin that 522 if you look below you see there it's actually a non-refundable rate I don't like that at all. I, I never like, I would never book a client at a non-refundable rate unless they insist. If the client insists, then I'll do it because it's, it's always the best rate. So the 522 rate, it's a non-refundable rate. Um, I don't know why somebody would want to book that now and I would not encourage it. The next rate up for that lead in interior cabin, um, it's 545. Okay, 545, 6 to 7 per person. And the total for three people would be 1637. 1637 plus taxes. So again, when you see those leading rates, those rates don't normally include what are the what are taxes and port charges. Those are added. But on my website, and the, I like my website, I actually like the booking engine that we have because it gives you all of that. At the moment you bring up the the, the, res, the the cruise sailing, it shows you what your taxes will be. It shows you the leading rate. It shows you the, the taxes per person and the so on and the so forth. And it also gives you quite a bit of information about the sailing. So you can look at, you can explore the ship. Um, you can look at different activities on the ship. Uh, the, all those things you'll find on my website. There's always a little video about the ship um, so I would encourage you, if you're looking to book a cruise, uh, contact me, Peter, at uh, PeteStravel.com. Uh, Peter at PeteStravel.com is actually my, uh, an email um, address for me. Or um, visit my website, and uh, PeteStravel.com, and, uh, and check that booking engine. It's really cool. It's really nice, easy to work with. Okay? So just tonight, like I said, I just wanted to give you an idea of what the, a, a cruise costs because your your first this is for first time cruises, of course. Um, hope, hopefully, you're planning to take a cruise, and so you're you're watching this video. Uh, so the total in this the the the, 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 the non-refundable um, price is fifteen six to seven for three people for a five night cruise in the summer, June twenty twenty four. That's not so bad. That's actually a decent rate, right? Because it works out to, to be about $100 or so per person per night. Um, so that's not so bad. The next rate up, which is a refundable rate though, is, is $16.37. So that again, it's uh, that's uh, $33. So um, $70 more, I would go with that rate. But that's just an idea. Now, if we were, if you don't want to stay in a dark cabin all day, then you may want to try the ocean view cabin. And the ocean view, as you'll see there, the leading rate starts at 582. Of course, just like with the interior cabin, that 582 rate is a special rate, so it's kind of it's non-refundable as well. Uh, but if you want to do that, um, the fi it's 582 per person for three people in the cabin. It's 1747. Uh, but if you wanted the refundable rate instead of that, three people in the cabin is 619 per person um, or 1857 per person, then plus the taxes 
and port charges. And in this case, the taxes and port charges um, are really 178 per person, 178 per person, okay? So that's just, uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of what a cruise will cost. Now, as I said before, if you choose to go at say, go in October, but your kid, your, kids, your, your children are in school, so you cannot go in October or November, um, but you most likely will have to go in the summertime. That's just an idea of what you can expect to pay on a five night cruise. And again, this is with Carnival. Prices vary from cruise line to cruise line. Um, Carnival is among the least expensive uh, so is MSC cruises, but um, if you want to try a Norwegian cruise or a Royal Caribbean cruise, you will definitely pay more. Or if you want to try a Disney cruise, you'll pay a lot more. I can tell you that now. But uh, this is Peter again from Pete'sTravel.com. Just wanting to give you an idea of what to expect if you're looking to book your first cruise for the summer of next year. If you want to go this year, maybe you're a couple, you don't have kids and uh, or your kids are older and it's just the two of you, you want to try cruising for the first time, then maybe you, could, you should try going in the fall because you don't need to worry about the kids um, being out of school to go, right? So I would suggest you go in October or, or, or November, uh, but those cruises are selling out if not. Um, you will, you will still find a, a few cabins and, and some sailings, but I would encourage you if you want to do that, then go get to it, get it done now. This is Peter saying so long, and I really hope to see you first time cruiser out there on the high seas. Bye for now.